the first thing I'm going to show you is Miss Marisol. I bought her second hand from a, a young girl who was no longer playing with her dolls and she wanted to sell them to get money to travel to France. And as you can see, her hair is a little frizzy, a little dry. I'm going to try maybe the hot water treatment on her. Uh, but otherwise, she's pretty good. She's got a little mark on her face, if you can see that. Um, her limbs are pretty loose, so I don't know if I can fix that. I've never done that before, but I'm gonna sure try. But we were glad to get her. Uh, but when we went to our thrift shop yesterday, we lucked out and found a whole slew of our generation and my life items that we didn't have. And this is the first thing we found is the salon chair. And it's in pretty good shape. Um, it was $2.99. And I think it's super cute. We like the colors a lot. And we grabbed that. And when I saw that, it was in a buggy. They hadn't even put it out yet. And, and I snatched it up. And then I was talking to another lady that works there. And when I did, someone else brought out a cart that had these sticking up and I recognized them from the My Life set. And I grabbed them and as I grabbed those, other things began to kind of be underneath a whole bunch of other random stuff. So I got excited and we started digging and my daughter just went crazy and was squealing and we were throwing things in our cart. This was 59 cents that was in there. Oh, these were 79 cents each. But we grabbed the helmet too, and they had this for 39 cents. And then we saw this here, and this was 99 cents. And inside has some of the school items. I don't think it's all of them. But we got this down, the little math notebook. It's not written in or anything. looks like the painting set. I know the paintbrush is in here. Um, the crayon box. We were only able to find one of the crayons. Here is the paintbrush. Oh, an eraser. I didn't even realize that was in there. And the pencil. Here's the crayon, and then it looks like the ruler. Really cute. And the last thing I see is um, a little phone. So, I thought that was great for 99 cents, so I love that. And then I grabbed the crutches. They were 59 cents, so why not? The dryer. Now, we couldn't find the washer. They just had the dryer, so now I'm gonna be on a search for the washer, but it was $1.99, but this was also in the basket, 29 cents. So they kind of had it all priced separately. This here was 29 cents, Camper's Guide. We found the guitar for 59 cents. And the locker, it's in okay condition. I think that it's a little beat up. It was $1.99. There was something here I tried to scrape off, but overall it's in decent condition. Um, and it had one of the shelves in it. I guess something's missing here. Maybe the mirror, you could probably comment and tell me what's missing. And it's got some stuff in the back. You can see a calendar, multiplication table and report card, so. And then this was also 99 cents. And this goes, I guess, with the salon chair and they had it marked 99 cents. And there were some items in a bag that they had marked for $2.99. So I had a whole bunch of different stuff. So first off, we had some kitchen stuff. So we had a colander and a kitchen scale. We had two oven mitts. Now, I don't know, this one is red and this one is like a hot pink. So I'm not sure why that is. Also had these, I think these are super cute. This is something that went with the laundry, dryer sheets and liquid detergent. Also had more kitchen stuff. We had a, 
like a pan and then the lid that goes with it and this one matches and a mixing bowl looks like it matched as well as a skillet and a spatula one just one random hot chocolate then i think this is a syrup and this is a pear that was in there so here are some of the items from the hair care salon kit and we have the hairspray and then we have the brunette color and the blonde items i don't know if that's perfume and shampoo i don't know it's like a squirt maybe a lotion container have the curl iron the flattener and the hair dryer and there were just two curlers and this one is broken so you can't use that hair care thing and then we had a dumbbell that I think might have gone with one of the outfits. This was in there, which I think goes with the backpack. So I think it's really cute, like the little lunch bottles. And then I would guess that this goes with the camper's guide. It's a little camera. And that was it for in the bag. And they had a mark 39 cents. So there's that. And then here's the other set that was also 39 cents. And then this little outfit, they had marked 29 cents. It doesn't really go together. It's just the shirt, um, which might be all our generation. It doesn't say on the tag. And then these pink fun fringe boots, which obviously doesn't go with that shirt. And then she brought out something while I was standing there talking to her, digging through that like a crazy person. And we got super excited. And I'll show you that next. So here is the item that one of the ladies that works there brought out because she saw me going through. All right, we're gonna have to move Marisol here. She saw me going through all the stuff and she said this was marked as salvage because it had gotten wet and it was filthy. I had to clean this up. So it has been cleaned up since then. But she brought it out and it had some things that looked broken and it was just kind of thrown in there, but now it's all organized and cleaned. Th these pieces were in there and I recognized them um, from being a part of the, the kit and they were broken apart. So I thought, well, those surely aren't broken and they weren't, they can be, I just snapped them back in. So there's the ironing board and then it had the drying rack that you've probably seen all before. And then it had all of these items here. So it had the boots in here. And I don't even know if I have the outfit that it goes with. You'll have to let me know if I do, because I'm not sure. Um, unfortunately, there was just one of the riding boots. But there is the cast. It was also in two pieces, so I guess they thought it was broken. And then these soccer cleats that I think are really cute. Um, two ballet slippers. No ballet outfit though. And then the two gymnastic shoes. So I had all of those just kind of tossed in there and then some other random things. So here is another thing that was listed, uh, thrown in here that we had the flower pot. It's missing some of the flowers back and fix that like super easy with some other. And it had the trophy that I guess goes with the horses stuff. A swimsuit, it's kind of cute, a little swimsuit. And it had a, a pair of purple socks, which I'm pretty sure go with this and the soccer cleats. So I've got the complete outfit on that, except for one, what I'm assuming is the knee pad. Just had one. This was actually tied onto the bow here. Um, so that was kind of random. Two pairs of underwear, um, a scarf, and the brush for the horse. Four of the marshmallows on a stick, and I guess to make s'mores. So that must go with the camping gear that we... And this was one American Girl. This was the only American Girl brand item I found. And I didn't, I don't know if it had any pants or anything that went with it, but I found that. And then this cute little set of... PJs. Uh, this must be just some off-brand because I'm not sure I've seen that. This little shirt with the butterfly and 
the purple leggings, which I'm not even sure they go together. Our generation, it's a little hoodie. And then it had some blue jean capris that I need to trim off the strings a little for them, so. Dress with the fur. This is, I guess, the gymnastics up. I'm assuming there are wind pants that are missing, but it has a little t-shirt that goes with it and the gymnastics leotard. So, all really cute. I think this was a horse riding vest, a uh, jacket, and then these, I'm assuming it's go with it. A little dance workout outfit. So it's got the little leggings, a tank top that's separate, um, and then the little hooded, sleeveless hood top. So super cute. And so the best part about this is we were kind of looking at it and I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not because I didn't know what was in the drawers when she opened it and it was just a hodgepodge of stuff. And, um, but I did see the hangers and I said, well, how much? She says, well, it was going to go in salvage. So 49 cents, I was like, uh, dill. And so what was our total for everything that we got at the thrift shop, not including our doll that we bought from a friend, but all our accessories we got for less than $18. And daughter was super happy and excited and mom was happy because we scored a good deal. If you enjoyed this video, we have more on our channel that are similar to this. And link below, we have rooms that we like to design with all of our deals and steals that we get when we're out clearance shopping and thrifting for American Girl. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.